Just a week before national elections, a long-standing corruption scandal is continuing to rock Guatemala. Known as La Línea, or The Line, the scandal involves the funneling of custom taxes into private bank accounts, and it appears that Guatemalan President Otto Pérez Molina is only barely holding on to power. His former vice president has been arrested, key figures in his cabinet have resigned, and even former allies, such as the country's Chamber of Commerce, have demanded he leave office. Yet Pérez Molina continues to defy calls for him to step down, professing his innocence in a televised address last week and reiterating that he would not resign. Les afirmo que no renunciaré y que con toda entereza enfrentaré. Guatemalans responded to the president's defiance by taking to social media and declaring, I don't have a president. Angered by the corruption allegations launched a new round of protests last week, demanding Perez Molina's resignation. Yet many outlets, unfortunately, do not give these demonstrators enough credit. Had it not been for the thousands of people regularly marching on the streets for the past four months, this might have played out like so many other corruption scandals, with only a few token measures taken to whitewash the problem. Guatemalans appear to be emboldened. Elections are set for September 6th, but many say they cannot take place under the current conditions and that campaign finance reform is badly needed. If the elections do take place, high rates of abstention may eliminate whatever legitimacy Guatemala's political system has left.